what if I told you that one man's mustache could bring down a $300 million superhero movie? Where would you rank Superman in the annals of superheroes? The greatest superhero of all time. Number one across the board. I don't think the mustache compromised Superman at all. We don't believe Ben Affleck can really jump off buildings like that. It's all about the suspension of disbelief. Collider and Mustache Boys Productions present Superman Stash, the follicle fumble. Honestly, look, we told those dopes at Warner Brothers, if you want Cavill, he's got to keep the stash. <laughs> they went for it. Idiots. I guess they're going to fix it in post. I hope. In summer of 2017, reports of heavy reshoots for the Justice League movie surfaced, as did pictures of Henry Cavill with a thick mustache for his role in Paramount's newest Mission Impossible film. That's when Variety broke the news that Warner Brothers would not be able to get a clean shave in Cavill for the reshoots. Was I pissed? No, was I? I wasn't pissed. I was, yeah, sure, yeah, I was. I was, yeah, but I, I figured, you know, if they can CGI Robert Downey Jr. to look 21, then how hard could it be, right? It's easy. You just, it's like whiteout with CGI, right? Nobody ever consults with the VFX department. You think the idiots over there on Mount Stupid are just saying, oh, fix it in post, fix it in post. Oh yeah, because look how simple it is. <laughs> Shouldn't have to eliminate a mustache. Uh, my name is Mark Andreco, and I am a Henry Cavologist. Do you get paid for this? Only spiritually. Can you walk somebody through the, the day in the life of a Cavologist? Spending time going through like Getty images and weird fan sites and seeing if, what sort of illustrations have been created by people on the internet that, that portray Henry. Seeing the photo of Henry Cavill with the porn stash in the Superman costume, well, let's say it just checked boxes I didn't know existed. I've been doing wigs, mustaches, uh, sideburns, uh, you know, beards, merkins. I, I can do leg hair, I can do arm hair, I can do chest hair. I can pretty much do anything you really want. Okay, so based on this picture of Henry Cavill's mustache, would you be able to recreate that mustache? Oh, yeah. This is easy. This is like second year stuff in the school. How much would a, a putting a fake mustache on a make cost? I don't know, a couple thousand bucks for an, entire sh for an entire shoot, not just for a day. Hold on, hold on. I just wanna make sure that we catch it on camera. How much did you say that would cost? A couple thousand bucks. 22 and a half million was his mustache. No, 20, 24 million? Okay. The way these CGI guys get away with it is because nobody knows what they're doing behind these computers. They could be like, oh, it's gonna take us 16 hours to uh, put this dragon in here. When it takes them like two seconds, the next thing you know, they're smoking cigarettes and vaping outside for the next 14. That's what I saw. I observed people. From what I was told, is that some, somebody asked Paramount, can we shave? They said no. Did anybody from Warner Brothers call you? No, that's the thing. I was waiting for it. When we said no shaving of the mustache, I was like, oh, these guys are, they're, gonna, they're not gonna go for this. They went for it. Even if they came with something, like a free lunch. Let me on a lot every once in a while, the, the hobnob, all right? Or just like, hey, can I meet Gail? No, I think it's gonna be fine. I think it's, I think people in like 25 years or so, people are gonna look back at that and go, silly mustache. Who cares, it was a fantastic movie. You know, Academy Award winning Suicide Squad. Am I right? The backlash was immeasurable. Breaking news this morning, due to a contract dispute, Henry Cavill Superman in the new Justice League movie will not be able to shave his mustache. Michael Rappaport. We can't remove that fucking thing. Yeah, I saw the movie, uh, it was fine. Well, I couldn't even recognize my boy. It wasn't his chin. It didn't look like him. Superman has many ways to get rid of facial hair. One, he can take a mirror and he can heat ray that shit right off the face. Mustache, no mustache, black hair, brown hair. I'm, I'm a Cavill purist. The only thing that is non-negotiable for me is the chest. He's gotta keep that unshaven. The DC Cinematic Universe actually has a long and storied history of questionable facial hair removal. Going back 50 years, in fact, uh, Cesar Romero, who played the Joker in the 1960s Batman TV series and feature film, refused to shave his mustache, so makeup artists had to cover it up with white clown paint which is actually better technology than that used in the new Justice League movie. There's the phenomenon of the uncanny valley, and it's when a CGI-based character is seen on screen and the human brain just can't process it. Research shows 
time and time again that the human brain just rejects it. Superman's CGI mustache is the scientific equivalent of getting stuck in Uncanny Valley's gift shop where they're only selling beef jerky. <laughs> For now, all that remains is what could have been. Superman is, he's a god. People have symbols that they use to worship their god. Me, I have a Superman tattoo. It is on my shoulder. I wear it proudly. Uh, do I think people will forget Henry Cavill's mustache extravaganza in Justice League in time? Probably. The news cycle is so quick, I'm sure everybody's already thinking about the sequel to Wonder Woman, and that's not coming out for a year and a half, so. I know this is a little bit unorthodox, but to say something doesn't quite sell it as to see something. Would you be willing to show us? Oh, you tattoo my tattoo, sure. Everybody thinks I don't have a tattoo. It's really funny. I get those tweets. Well, someday, hopefully, studio executives will learn that practical effects are far superior to CGI. Oh, I think that when fans see this, they're gonna just, their minds are gonna explode from all the awesomeness that they won't even think about the mustache. Don't believe me in my Superman tattoo? Whatever, man. What? That's weird. And what, what camera were you with? This one right here? And make sure you see uh, Mission Impossible 6, July 27th, 2018. Cruise is amazing, does action. Everybody does action. It's big action. <laughs> huh? You don't see that? See it right there? Boom! $550 worth every penny. Time has a way of healing all wounds, but can time erase a mustache? The good thing about DC fans is they're super understanding, they don't nitpick at all, they don't have any sort of grudge against Marvel's success critically or box office, so it's really great that they can just exist together and just kind of like this awesome fandom harmony that I never thought would exist, but it warms our hearts every time.